Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica with Memory Box Candle Co. And I make videos all about the journey of starting a candle business. And today's video I think has been very highly requested from all of the comments that I received on many of our candle making videos before. And that has to do with our wicking tools. So we have our wicking devices, we have our measuring devices, we have the actual wick holders that we use. And I just wanted to go through and talk about everything and where we get everything. So all of these wicking tools were custom made by this Etsy shop. I will have it right here. I will have it also in a pinned comment down below. Now, keep in mind that this is just one person <laughs> running this Etsy shop. And sometimes he does have to temporarily um, put his store on pause just to try to catch up with orders because I know he does get an influx of a lot of orders for these wicking devices. And also some of these devices are not available for purchase because they were custom designed designed. Um, so I just wanted to throw that out there as well, but you're more than welcome to message him and see if there's something that you could work on custom together, or maybe there's something that I have that he could, you know, recreate for you, whatever it is, you may want to work on that, you know, just one-on-one -on -one with the seller of that Etsy shop. Um, but he has been really awesome with creating all of these wicking, uh, wick holders and presses and all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So first thing I want to talk about is the one that's right in front of me. And this is a device that we use to wick our tins. So these are the eight ounce matte black tins from California Candle Supply. And these ones are a double wick. So this one was custom made um, for us for these tins. And what you do is you actually load in the wicks with the wick stickers on them already, take the little pieces of paper off of the wick wicks and then you put it on upside down and kind of press in the middle of the tin so that it sticks and then when you pull it off they are wicked for you. And then to go along with that is actually the wick holder specifically made for these eight ounce tins as well. So there's two different kinds we've had. So there is one that is kind of the half um, it's like a half of a wicking device and the other one is a full circle. I don't really have a preference either way. I guess that the half one, it uses less material. Um, so this one, we have a ton of those. I mean, we have a ton of all of these different sizes specifically for our larger candles and then for the matte black tins. Um, and it just is really nice because it fits on there really nicely. And you're also able to, you know, make sure that the spacing of the double wick that you're using or a single wick as well if you want to do a single wick which we will talk about in just a moment um, but the double wicking works really nice because it kind of gives a good even space of about an inch between the wicks inside of the vessel and then Chris also left me some notes as well on these vessels right here. He got this all set up for me. So thank you to Chris for getting this all set up for me. But he also wrote down some notes on measurements on these vessels, um, just basically so you have an idea of, you know, the measurements of them and potentially maybe it'll be able to use, use those for a different vessel that you have that are the same measurements. So for the eight ounce matte black tin, it, the inner diameter is three inches and the wick holder base outer diameter is two and 15 sixteenths inches. So there's one eighth inch of wiggle room. And this just makes me want to use the metric system even more because fractions get crazy when they get that small. And then the next wicking device is the one that we've been using for the longest time actually, and it's this double wick press specifically for the 13.5 ounce Cali jars from California Candle Supply. And um, this has worked really, really well. Now, the one thing that we've noticed is not necessarily about the wick holders or the device or anything from this Etsy shop, but what we noticed is that different cases of jars that we get in throughout the year that we order different cases of jars, the manufacturer of the jars, it they make it slightly off sometimes. So um, because of the nature of how it's created, um, sometimes there can be slight variations in the diameter of the jar. So what we've noticed is that sometimes the wick holders to these jars and even the wick press, it doesn't actually fit inside of the jar. So it can seem like, oh, there's an issue with the actual you know wick holder or press, but it's not having to do with that. It's everything to do with the slight variations in the batches of the jars, which is 
we don't like it at all, uh, but it is what it is. So we make it work. Um, and I will show a close up of how we still are able to use the wick holders even when the jar um, itself is slightly smaller in diameter than um, the typical on what it's supposed to be when we order it. And something else to mention is this wicking device right here. So this is just actually a prototype. Um, this was something that he wanted us to try out and test out. Um, and I think he's still working on it. I think he's starting over and just trying to come up um, with kind of maybe a better way or better design or whatever it is. Um, but we use it a lot when the uh, jars themselves are not able to have this uh, wick press inside of them and that's just because this is actually able to be adjusted so you can undo these little screws and move it to where it'll fit different diameters of the jar and we have used this for both the Cali jars as well as the Evermore jars too. Um, so with the Evermore jars I know that these are no longer available anymore because 1617 is out of business but I think that these jars are very very similar to a lot of other jars that you can get from different companies. I Think like the aura jars or maybe there's some like candle science jars that are similar um, so the uh, measurements of the evermore jar the inner diameter of the jar itself is 3 and 11 16 inches and the wick base the outer of the wick base is 3 and 5 8 inches um, so there's 1 16th of wiggle room in this um, so i could see these wick holders um, being able to fit in a different kind of jar if needed. Um, so this is something that we use uh, a lot actually, Chris. It, it came in handy because of the variations of the slight differences in the diameter of all of the Cali jars that we've been getting in. So these presses have really sped up the wicking process. Um, the prepping process of candle making has always been one of my least favorite things to do, but getting these devices has made it so much easier and so much faster. So let's move on to the last wicking press device that we have here. So this is a single wick press that was specifically made for the nine ounce straight set of jar. And then we also have the custom wick holder for the nine ounce straight set of jar as well. And this one is really nice. It just fits in there press it down, you know, you get the wick obviously loaded and then you press it down, it sticks at the bottom and it is centered. And then you're also able to make sure that it's centered in the jar with the wicking, uh, with the wick holder as well. And the inner uh, diameter of the jar for this one is two and three eighths inches. And then the outer diameter of the wick, wick holder base is two and a quarter inch. Um, so an eighth of an inch of wiggle room on that one. And this device is pretty cool. Again, I don't know if he has this one up um, on his shop, but that was just something that he had sent to us. Um, we're kind of like, I guess, the testers for a lot of his stuff, which is really cool. Um, again, we've been working with him for so, so long on, on all this stuff. Uh, but that uh, is a more fairly recent wick press that we got because we just started more recently using these jars for um, our retail and our wholesale. And then the last couple of wicking devices that we use, um, this was something that we did use to use a lot more before we actually had this single press right here, but it's kind of like an alternative. So you're able to put the wick inside, hold the top, put it down, press, and have it wick. So this is just a very simple wicking device. If you're looking for just something to get you started and have kind of that guide as you are pressing it into your jar. And then these right here, I always get questions about these. These are kind of like the little measuring um, thing that we put on, side of the, on the side of the jars. And that's just to tell us when to stop pouring the wax. So instead of having to weigh every single candle out as we are pouring, this is kind of in lieu of that so that we're able to just move this device from candle to candle and know how high we need to fill it up for it to be the weight that we want it to be. Um, so with these ones right here, we actually ended up up cutting these to size Whoop. 
And then this one right here, this is actually one to where you're able to move and adjust it. And I think this is the one that he has on his Etsy shop. I'll have to double check that. Um, but this also, you're able to have different um, widths of the actual jar. So every jar is gonna have a different thickness of the glass. So some are gonna be really thin, like the tins. Others are going to be thicker glass, like um, the Evermore jars are, are a bit thicker. Um, some mason jars or other jars like that, specifically, you know, maybe more concrete jars are gonna have more of that thicker um, wall right there with whatever material is used. And you can twist this and be able to, um, you know, adjust uh, how you want it to sit on the jar. And then you're also able to adjust up and down based on how uh, low you want it to be or how high you want it to be when you're filling up the vessel. But these are all of our wicking devices. I wanna say this is one of like the most frequently asked questions in all of our videos where we're showing actual candle making footage. And rightfully so, because you see it and you're like, oh my gosh, that looks so nice. And like trying to put cotter pins or trying to, you know, makeshift things. I think the first ever wick holder I used was uh, painter's tape and I just cut holes in it for the, the wicks to stay there. So I've gone a long way since that. Um, but the Etsy shop, owner Chris he is great um, he has you know just been so great for our business um, so we just also love you know sharing his business all the time as well um, so definitely go check out his Etsy shop again it will be down in the pinned comment below of this video um, but with that I think I'm gonna end today's video right here if you enjoyed today's video make sure to leave it a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you in my next video.